students, you are welcome to this practical class uh, session. In this session, we want to determine chloride content of water. How, uh, how can we determine the chloride content of water? We just want to look at in this section. So, chloride determination, we can use several methods to determine the chloride content of water. But the particular one I want to look at in this session is argentometric titration, in which our sample is titrated against silver nitrate in the presence of potassium dichromate as our indicator. Now, this class, you will need some reagents such as silver nitrate, which will act as our titrant. We have 0.1 normal silver nitrate here, and we also have potassium dichromate, which we act as our indicator. So, those are the things, those are the reagents we'll be needing. And the sample we are going to work on is our water. This is the water sample. We want to determine its chloride content. Now, the procedure goes like this. In major 10 mm of water sample into a conical flask. This is a conical flask. So I'm going to measure 10 mm of water sample into it. Then add two drops of 10% potassium dichromate indicator and titrate the solution with 0.1 normal silver nitrate until the color changes from yellow to reddish brown, which persists for one to three minutes. I'm going to add two drops of potassium dichromate, which is our indicator. I'm going to titrate it now with 0.1 normal silver nitrate until the color changes from yellow to reddish brown. And this color, this reddish brown should persist for one to three minutes. This is our silver nitrate. Now to start the titration, remember the color change we are looking at is reddish, reddish brown. Yes, yeah, so we've gotten it. Now we're going to leave it to stand for one for like one to three minutes. If the color persists within this period, then the reaction has taken place. At that point, we take our reading. Okay, now we look at our reading from our barrette reading. We are having 
0.5 cm cube as our title value. 0.5 cm cube as our title value. Determination of chloride. Now, once we've done this, how will you now calculate, determine the chloride content of this particular water sample? The formula which we are going to use is this. Chloride in ppm, chloride in ppm is equal to theta multiplied by 3.55 times step now we do our substitution from our title value we know that our title value is equal to 0 0.5 cm cube so by the time we Multiply, substitute it here, we will have chloride in ppm will be equal to 0 0.5 times 3.55 times 10. This 10 you are seeing here is the volume of the sample you use. This 10 is the volume of the sample you use, depending on the volume of sample you use. If it is 5, then we are going to have it. Five here, depending on the number, of, uh, the volume of sample you use. If it is fifteen, we have fifteen here. But in this particular, we use ten mil of the sample, which is the ten here. So now, you do your calculation. Whatever your final answer is in ppm, is the chloride content of that water sample. Now. When you do that, you try to compare your results with the World Health Organization recommended limits for chloride content of water sample. World Health Organization give a limit of 200 to 600 ppm. So try to compare whatever answer you got with this. If it is high or low or within this range, then you should be able to tell if the chloride content of that water sample is okay. Now the exercise here says convert your results in ppm. Whatever result you got in ppm, you convert it to milligram per liter and also milligram per mil. So whatever answer you got in ppm, you convert it to milligram per liter and also milligram per mil. So that is it. How that's how to determine the correct content of water. So with that, we've come to the end of this particular section. Thank you, everybody.